And welcome back, 544 now on this Wednesday morning. How about this stunning view from Tofty right now? Just a stunning start to our day. A few little ripples out on Lake Superior. The sunrise right now saw a few little ducks swing around Lake Superior as well. Just a gorgeous start to our day. Most of those showers and thunderstorms that we did see through the overnight hours last night. Well, those have now made their departure across the region and now we are mainly dry. As a matter of fact, most of us are mainly cloud free as well to kick things off on our Wednesday morning. How about not a bad start to our day in Duluth either? We got 55 on top of the hill at Duluth International. Winds are still out of the east southeast between 5 and 10 miles per hour, which does mean, yeah, we're going to be a hair cooler by Lake Superior once again, especially up the north shore because of that southeasterly component to the wind. That means they'll be having that wind right off of Lake Superior. Temperatures elsewhere across the region. Right now we got 55 Ashland, 67 in Ironwood, 57 though Walters Meet, 60 Hayward, 44 to kick off our day in Superior, 52 Two Harbors, 61 right now Ely, 62 Grand Rapids, and 54 right now for our day in Big Fork. So here's where we're heading for the rest of the day today. You can see we're probably going to be dealing with mainly dry, mainly sunny skies to kick off the vast majority of the first half of the day today. Then as we head towards the second half, there is the opportunity for just a few scattered showers here and there. But honestly, through most of the daytime hours today, we should be mainly dry. As a matter of fact, we should be seeing a good amount of sunshine here through the daytime hours today as well. For our day tomorrow, maybe the opportunity for a few stray showers to kick things off for our Thursday morning. But then as we head towards tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, I think probably a better shot of seeing a few of those rain showers, a few of those rumbles of thunder, especially as we head through the evening hours tomorrow. But again, still a good amount of dry time, still a good amount of sunshine. That same trend, well, that's going to carry over into our day on Friday as well. Friday waking up, Friday morning, we should be mainly dry. As we head towards Friday afternoon, Friday evening, again, the opportunity for a few scattered showers, a few rumbles of thunder here and there. But again, still plenty of dry time and yes, still plenty of sunshine at that as well. Temperatures for today today going to be quite mild out there. Most of us are going to be talking about the low to mid 80s up the North Shore. They're going to be a hair cooler up there. Thanks to winds of being out of the south and east off of Lake Superior. They'll be stuck in the 60s and 70s generally for the Arrowhead region. As we head towards tomorrow, we begin to see more of an easterly component to that wind. So that will keep us in the 60s and 70s on the Lake Superior shoreline. But still, the inland portions of the area, they're going to make a run into those low and mid 80s. Here's a look at what we're expecting through the rest of the day today. As I mentioned, most of us talking upper 70s, low to mid 80s out there. That chance of precip gradually rising here as we head towards this afternoon as well as this evening. But most of the day featuring partly clouded skies overhead. Now look at that seven day forecast. The seven day forecast really is not all that bad. Although there is a rain icon here on each of the next three days, I don't think we're really talking about much rain. We're not talking about much thunderstorms. Just keep your eye to the sky for a few scattered showers and thunderstorms each day, especially towards the afternoon as well as the evening hours. As we head towards the weekend, we look mainly dry out there. Maybe a hair cooler as we head towards next week. Paul.